social credit deducted. I've always been a big Halo fan, so I was pretty excited for Halo Infinite. It was fun at first, but due to its extreme lack of content, I feel like it's had a pretty disappointing run so far, so I've reverted back to the old Halo games. There is one old Halo game, however, that I really want to play, but probably will never be able to play, because it never got past the prototype phase, and that game, as you probably guessed, is Halo on the Nintendo DS. Just saying, Halo for Nintendo DS sounds pretty outlandish now, but back around 2007 when rumors of this game first started floating around, this must have sounded even more ridiculous. It really wasn't that ridiculous though, because a prototype was made and around that same time, other Microsoft games were already making it onto Nintendo handhelds. Rareware, which has been owned by Microsoft for nearly 20 years now, put out several games on the Game Boy Advance, including Banjo-Kazooie, Grunny's Revenge, Saber Wolf, and Banjo Pilot. Later on, once the DS came out, Rare released Viva Pinata Pocket Paradise in 2008. This one was a spin-off of the Viva Pinata Xbox games and was Rare's only game on the DS. But there were several other games from companies owned by Microsoft that were also released on the DS, like Zoo Tycoon and Age of Empires. So clearly Microsoft wasn't totally afraid of publishing games on Nintendo handhelds as they didn't have any of their own handhelds and also the DS and Game Boy sold like crazy, so it would just make sense to want to have some games on them. After Halo 2 released in 2004, right before the original DS released, rumors surfaced that Halo would appear on the Game Boy Advance. Microsoft dismissed these rumors, so a new rumor surfaced that Halo would appear on the very short-lived Tiger handheld, the Gizmondo. Microsoft dismissed these rumors again. I do actually remember playing some Flash games in the 2000s, like these little like Halo side-scroller games claiming to be this GBA project or Gizmondo project or whatever that got canceled, but obviously that was just fake. But even though Microsoft dismissed these rumors twice, it wouldn't be long before they would start back up. The Gizmondo had been discontinued and the Game Boy Advance was on its last leg, with Nintendo's DS taking its place as the best-selling handheld console. So, the portable Halo game rumor had now moved to the DS. These rumors, as far as I can tell, were never really dismissed by Microsoft. They were never confirmed, but they never outright stated that the rumors were false. It was then, on January 4th, 2007, that Matt Casamina of IGN claimed that not only were the rumors true, but he had actually played the game. Later that year, Bungie employees Frank O'Connor and Brian Gerard would state in an interview, it's very likely that somebody at some point in time created a prototype and tried to pitch it, which is probably what Casamina is talking about. But there has never been an officially funded or sanctioned development of any sort of Halo DS game. And they were pretty much right. This prototype did in fact exist, but it wasn't made by Bungie or Microsoft. It was apparently made by some unknown AAA studio who then pitched it to Microsoft. IGN would go on to reveal that they did indeed have copies of this prototype, and they uploaded videos of the prototype to the internet. Once upon a time, there was this game that was in development. It wasn't created by a garage developer. It was actually done by a major studio, major publisher, AAA publisher. And, uh, you know, at one time, they were really hoping to bring it out. Unfortunately, for reasons we can't discuss, it never came to be. Obviously, you're not playing it right now. However, we oh, are. We are. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, we Feels figured good. Um, there was a lot of doubt about this game, whether or not it really existed, and uh, we figured what better way to, you know, shed some light on that than just, just just to show it to you. Honestly, from the videos, the prototype does look pretty cool. It's clearly very stripped down from the console games, but it's a 2007 prototype of a console shooter on the DS. What did you expect? It seems to be mainly modeled after Halo 2, which would have been the most recent entry in the series at the time this was developed. Which does make me wonder. Would this have been a port of Halo 2, or at least trying to be a port of Halo 2, or would it have been its own thing entirely? It has a local online multiplayer mode where players can battle on the Halo 2 map Zanzibar, which looks pretty good on the DS. It plays a DSified Halo theme song and includes a few other Halo staples in it. The players all seem to play as a Master Chief looking Spartan character and spawn in with an SMG, just like Halo 2. You can also pick up the plasma rifle though, and as you can see here, you can even dual wield. 343 should take notes. There's also a warthog on the map, but whether you can drive it or not, I don't know. My guess is probably not, since IGN didn't show it. Unfortunately though, as you probably figured out already, this prototype has never been released to the public. A homebrew Halo DS game was actually released in 2007, which people at the time thought was this prototype, but clearly it's a very different game from the prototype. You can actually play this one though. The prototype was most likely made with the same engine as GoldenEye Rogue Agent, which means it could have been developed by EA. A 
I kind of doubt that. I just can't really see EA getting involved in a project like this, but really, you never know. But that's really it on the Halo DS prototype. For some reason, Microsoft seems to have rejected the pitch before anything else could really happen. Some sources claim that Microsoft tried to pick it up, but couldn't due to publishing reasons, but I don't really know about that. The official story ends as soon as IGN posts those videos, so really anything could have happened behind the scenes and we might not ever find out. I do really hope that someday the ROM gets dumped online because I think it would be really cool to try this game. But thanks for watching, you should subscribe.